Hey there, everybody. Um, in advance, I apologize. This is going to be by far one of my laggiest videos. Um, simply because of what I have made is not very kind of my game. But I don't think I've ever seen one of these done before. What I have made is a vertical minecart elevator. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of this. Um, it's not incredibly fast at this rate. Uh, this is a really rough version, and I'm still working on it. But as you can see, it moves the minecarts upwards, and then it simply disperses them back into the path, which is just simply supposed to you know, represent anywhere you want to go. Um, but uh, the design I have built, it works at any height. You can make it infinitely high, and um, it is incredibly complex, I will tell you right now, and I'm sorry for that. I'm going to give you a quick tour of it, and I plan to give a full tutorial in the future, but for now I'd like you all to see the inner workings of this, so you can really... I've been spent... I spent about the past, like, 15 hours of Minecraft working on this, and uh, it's pretty neat. So, there's a few different aspects that go in this thing. It's essentially two vertical Ooh. item or dispensers, one of half slabs and one of uh, uh, fence posts. So, uh, basically what happens is um, the minecart is dispensed in the half slab and everything is pushed upwards. Um, and then the minecart's pushed off. The really hard part was, though, was putting the items back down, because when you try to push half slabs downwards... Sorry, let me turn this volume down. When you try to push half slabs downwards, what happens is they'd combine into full slabs. So what you had to do is you had to do a half slab and then a uh, fence. Half slab fence. And the issue with that, you had to make two separate dispensers that were timing one than the other. Basically what happens is they go up individually and they combine and then they get separated back into each other. As you can see, fences go up on their own, they're combined here, and on the other side, the half slabs go up on their own, because if the fence is worth them, the minecarts cannot go in, and then they are s combined and then separated, which is really important. Um, which I'm sure a lot of people don't care that much about. Uh, I'm going to give a full tutorial on this at some point, as I said. But as you can see, they're separate right here. Um, as if you'll watch, there's a half slab right now on the loader. It's uh, put out, and then the and then this one, uh, the fences, and then the fence is put back in. And so they're uh, ultimately pushed in and out. End result of this is I'm able to transport minecarts upwards. Uh, it gets pushed up. Or hold up, it gets pushed up. Next round, pushed up. And the next time a slab gets loaded, th this minecart will be loaded. Uh, it's going to be a uh, fence first. And then now a slab gets loaded, and the minecart gets dispensed. And basically what happens is I can put this up all the way up there, and I can load it up with a bunch of minecarts, and I can have a vertical dispenser. Um, I currently have it running off a timer based on this, because I figured a clock would lag me too much. I just figured I'd do this to the point I want. Uh, but no, I am I am incredibly excited about this, and I hope I hope other people will really see this uh, see this for what it is too. Um, as far as I can tell, this is pretty unique, and I'm gonna make a very clean, nice version for you all soon. But in the meantime, I hope you know other people can see this, and maybe if some people have some insight to uh, how to improve the design on what they see. That'd be great. But as it is, it's a lot of pistons and a lot of timing, pushing stuff a lot of different ways. Um, but that's about it. You can also ride in the minecarts too, but um, the system's kind of finicky right now. Alright, we'll give it one last little go. Look at that. I know. As I said right now, it's kind of slow because there's a lot. I have to really like clean up the timing of the things. I have a very, very wide time range so that nothing overlaps because that was a big issue at first. But as you can see, the minecarts are being loaded vertically. And it really works. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, to all the naysayers, if anyone thinks otherwise, you can't just put the half slabs, it doesn't work. And, because uh, you can't bring them back down, so if you want this to make this continuously flowing, you need to bring the half slabs back in to reload it. And the only way to do that is with fence posts, and that's what made this just so challenging. But, I'm so glad I got this to work, and I really hope other people enjoy it. Um, that's it, uh, expect more on this tomorrow or the next day, it could take me some time to duplicate. Thank you, Good night.